In the first installment of this two-part series, I repaired the leg on this table. And now it's time to tackle the finish. I just used some citrus strip and took the old finish off or what was left of it. There wasn't much. I used a scraper to remove the stripper and the old finish. And once that was all off, I cleaned it off with some mineral spirits and 4 aught steel wool. And now you could really see how bad the top was. It looks like there were probably some potted plants on this for a while, and it probably got wet, so it's got some black stains on it, and I'll need to try to remove those. I applied oxalic acid to remove the black stains, and I buy my oxalic acid in powder form or crystals and mix it with some water, and then just put it on and let it dry. And uh, once it's dry, just see how much of the stain has been removed. And if it needs it, I'll reapply it again. And in this case, I could still see some of the stain, so I applied it a second time. And after the second application, it looked pretty good. And on the legs, I decided just to scrape the finish off because it was just so brittle and there wasn't much there anyway and that worked well the legs had some small splits in them so at this point I glued those back together and I just used a syringe with some wood glue to get it into the split and then just clamp them up. Once the wood had dried, I sanded it by hand, starting with 120 grit and then going to 150 and 180. And then it was time for stain, and I'm using a walnut gel stain on this. And I put the same stain over the legs and also on the lower shelf. For the top coat, I used Wipe-On Satin Polyurethane oil polyurethane and I like this for a lot of applications because it's easy to apply you don't need to spray it and I actually like the color that it adds it adds a bit of an amber color and uh, if you don't apply a coat that's too thick I think it looks great Once everything was dry, I assembled the table all back together.
And here it is all done. Thanks for watching.